Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can create a nice uh, movie with beautiful shots in Unreal Engine. Um, this video is intended for digital arts and entertainment students, uh, but if you're interested have a look on the website. Um, shots like you can see for example in the third and the seventh movie um, by Alex Roman um, and it's probably a good idea to uh, view it again uh, before you create this movie because it's an uh, excellent work. Um, in Unreal <coughs> in Unreal you first want to make sure your level is fully built, everything is saved, everything looks nice. Um, if you want to hide things, for example uh, Unreal Engine uh, assets like these, uh, you want to do that first. Then in the content browser, you want to create a cinematic uh, folder of some sort, and you want to create a bunch of level sequence files. First one is called master, and then you have a number of shots. So I simply created shot one, shot two, shot three, but you can also use more descriptive names, um, and you should have as many shots, uh, sorry, level sequence files as you have shots. Um, and I think you should aim to have at least around 10, 12, 15 shots um, and create something which lasts around 30, 40 seconds. Um, then you open shot number one and that will open up a sequence window. You, a good place to dock it is here. Um, then you go to the location uh, where you want the first camera to be and you click this button create new camera and set as current camera cut as the current camera cut. Um, then you want to select it and you want to make sure this is turned on. Um, it might be a bit zoomed in too much and you might want to change the camera settings. I'm simply going to set the focal length from 35 to maybe 20 or something. Um, here we have our timeline and our, um, yeah, our position on the timeline. Um, we want to set it at zero and go to a nice location because right now we're piloting this camera, um, look in a good direction, maybe there, something like this, um, and hit enter. Um, then you want to go to the end of your shot, or about the end of your shot, um, but make sure you don't exit the shot, and then change the camera position and hit enter again and as you can see every time you hit enter um, you create these keyframes. Now if you press play um, you will see that the shot here is displayed and you can also see it's um, ease in ease out so at the beginning of the shot the camera starts to move at the end of the shot the camera slows down again you want to change that you, you you can select the transform and here this is mostly the rotation and here you can see the the ease in ease out um, here we can set it to linear interpolation so we'll have a um, linear movement uh, between the two keyframes um, but if you have multiple keyframes you might want to keep the ease in ease out as well um, you also want to make sure that you create your camera shots longer than you actually want to take your shot. So start a bit earlier, end a bit later. Um, we can cut it off um, nicely uh, later on. All right, so that's the first shot. Um, second shot. Shot number two. Go to a nice location for the camera to be. Somewhere here. Um, again, new camera selected. Make sure this is turned on. So 
what this button does is it makes us uh, pilot the camera uh, if you turn this off yeah it's just the viewport if you turn this on we're looking through the camera so again I'm going to set this to around 20 um, start off here so I'll hit enter oops I'll hit enter to create all these keyframes at frame 0 go to the end of my shots and simply um, go to the end of my shot click in the viewport move forward a little bit not too much um, hit enter again and we can see the camera moving forwards um, so slow easy shots um, don't make shots as if you're just uh, flying around your level with a drone or like maybe you're, you're flying um, like you're, you're navigating through your level uh, you don't want to make camera shots with which move look uh, yeah look around too much simple camera shots which which would be easily doable in the real world um, and the camera doesn't need to move that much um, okay and let's quickly create the third shot um, So yeah, I, I think your level looks better if you increase the field of view a little bit. Um, so click here, hit enter. Oops, oh yeah, select your camera, hit enter. So you'll create a keyframe for everything which is selected. Um, I'll go to the end again. Move the camera down a little bit. Hit enter again. Alright, so I have a bunch of shots. Um, you probably need more than three. Um, and now I'll put them together in the master. So for the master, don't create a camera in the master, but add a shot track. In the shot track, we can add our shots. So shot one, add shot, shot two, and shot two will be added after shot one. And shot 3 which will be of course added at the end again um, so let's zoom out a little bit and um, what we can do now is we can reposition the shots um, and just start off from another position uh, sorry not another position uh, another moment in time um, and this red line here is when the shot starts or when the when the movie starts when the movie starts so here we can um, yeah if you select this button you can see what it will be um, and if you had if you hit space um, it's like playing and pausing um, maybe this is long enough so you hit space again the time stops and you can right click edit and simply trim this part um, so the space key helps you to time your shots um, but I'll, I'll cut it off a little bit like that again and maybe cut off a little part of that shot so we um, don't really see the, the start okay when you have all your shots um, placed in order and you're happy with it um, you can go ahead and render out the movie but since we're using Unreal Tournament here um, you'll actually see Unreal Tournament UI um, on the screen there's a few ways to fix it but I find the easiest one is to in the settings of the level, the world settings is to simply override the game mode. Now the game mode is not being overridden, so it uses Unreal Tournament game mode. 
um, but if you simply override it with the default game mode, uh, you will not have any UI. And now you can go ahead and render this movie. In this render movie settings, you want to make sure use compression is turned off. The compression right now in Unreal Tournament is quite bad. Uh, you don't want to use it. Um, resolution, it won't really matter for rendering, but your files, your movie files, at first will be a lot bigger. Um, but go ahead and render in full HD. Um, frame rate should just correspond with this frame rate. 30 or 25 will both work fine. And what you want to do is open up animation here and warm up frame count. Um, Unreal will stream in your assets and your textures mostly. Um, so the first few frames or the first second your, um, of your movie, the textures will be streamed in. And of course, that doesn't look very nice. So you want to have some warm up frames. Um, yeah, choose a location, choose a name, and hit capture movie. Uh, yeah, ask to save everything. And it will now yeah, render a movie um, pretty quickly. You, you should see it in real time. Um, for me it's showing off in the other in the other window. Okay, so it's done. We can go there and have a look. As you can see there's no no UI. Right, the only problem is the video is about ten seconds but it's a file size of 2.4 gigabytes so you're going to have to or you should um, go ahead and um, compress this file a little bit before uploading it to YouTube or Vimeo um, you can compress it with a lot of uh, software from Adobe or you can use Handbrake which is free or you can use Format Factory which is also free or uh, there's, there's some other things you, you can do um, you might also want to um, place a screen with, with your contact information, your name and so on at the end um, or maybe have like a very short intro to do it um, okay so that's it if you follow these steps you should be able to make a nice looking presentation of your levels um, alright thanks for watching I'll see you later